Hello and uh, welcome to the International Boxing Federation's 7th World Women's Championships from the beautiful coastal city of Xinhuangtao in northern China. 300 kilometers east of Beijing in the Hebei province, Xinhuangtao hosted the soccer preliminary rounds for the 2008 Beijing Olympics and the Asian Games at its Olympic Sports Center where today's boxing finals come from. The 2012 Women's World Boxing Champs is both historical and record-breaking, with 305 athletes from 70 nations creating the highest ever entry list in history. And also this serves as the only Olympic qualifier, as women's boxing joins the London 2012 roster of sports in three weight divisions, fly, light and middleweight, for the very first time. But at the finals of these world championships, there are ten weight divisions to be contested, and after 12 days of competition, we will start the action with the light fly, fly, bantamweight, feather, lightweight, light welter, welterweight, middle, light heavy, and heavyweight. Well, it is at the uh, fly, light fly competition that is the first of uh, the finals, and it promises to be a real thrilling start. Two of uh, the boxers in action from China and the Philippines really have been uh, the giant killers of uh, the light fly division. Zhu Shiki of uh, China defeating the world number one, uh, Lindsay Holdaway from Wales and uh, Josie Kabuko from uh, the Philippines disposing of world number two and world number three boxers to claim her spot in today's final competition. It really has been a, a superbly run tournament here in China, I have to say. Big crowds expected with uh, China as the host nation having the most finalists with the chance to potentially take four gold medals in the ten weight divisions. The USA fields three finalists, England, Russia and Poland, all with two chances of taking gold medals. Also, this is the one and only Olympic qualifying event, as we said earlier, with uh, 24 quota or places awarded to the quarter finalists in the three Olympic weight divisions. Eight spots going in the flyweight 51 kilos, the lightweight 60 kilos, and the middleweight at 75 kilos, and a further 24 places, making a total of 48, will be decided by the national federations. So, let's get ready for the presentation of the first boxes in our first final here in uh, the Huangtao's uh, Olympic Sports Centre, Zhu Shiki. Look at this for an impressive uh, pathway to the final. The most impressive, Lindsay Holdaway, the Welsh world number one, comfortably beaten Holdaway by 20 to 9. This 24-year-old from the Beijing Sports University has looked so impressive in uh, this uh, tournament. And perhaps most impressively, or the most interesting of statistics against her name, is that she's beaten her opponent earlier this year at the Asian Games in the quarterfinals, 16-10. So, Josie Gabuko will know that. The Filipino boxer, 25 years of age, coached by the uh, Velasco brothers, Nolito and Real, the Southeast Asian Games uh, champion. And... Uh, Josie, it's fair to say, is watched out of her skin throughout this tournament, defeating the world rank number three from Mongolia. Tumurkiak in the preliminary rounds, and in her semi-final, beating Svetlana Zhenvanova, the world number two, to earn her place in this uh, last bout in the light fly division. Well, Veronika Zhux, the Hungarian referee for this uh, first bout. Denmark, Russia, Slovakia, Bulgaria and Norway, the nationalities of our five judges 
A quick reminder for women's elite boxing rules and regulations. Four rounds, but two minutes in length for each, with a one-minute break in between. And like men's elite boxing, where we have three three-minute rounds. And of course, that will remain the format as women's boxing makes its debut at the London Olympic Games, just 69 days away. Both orthodox boxers jab with the left, hand, big hands with the right. And uh, perhaps the key stat against both these boxers' names is the one we mentioned earlier, definitely worth a second mention. Zhushiki of uh, China, the first of four Chinese finalists in action today. Got the better of uh, Josie Gabuko in the Asian Championships earlier this year. It was a quarter-final victory, 16-10. But it's a great start for the Filipino boxer. Big right hand in the first exchanges. And they're mixing up quite nicely. Double jab uppercut from the Philippine boxer in blue. Nice start. No signs of nerves from Kabuko at all. And uh, if anything, Zhu just a little frustrated with herself. But she's not settled as quickly, certainly as she did in her semi-final bout. Where she got the better of the Kazakh boxer, Nazim Kazabai. Good one too there. Well, certainly good jab followed up with a right from Zoot. That's her first uh, points on the board. She's got a lovely short hook though, the Philippine boxer in blue. And uh, Zoot will need to watch out there. That's not a short one, that's uh, certainly a good one from the right. But it's a short hook with the left hand that uh, was her effective weapon to beat uh, Jemvanova in the semi-final. Ten seconds left now in the first round. And a good start for both. Kabuko definitely warmed up and ready to go from the bell in the first. But uh, Zhu now starts to get into her rhythm. And the Chinese boxer just has the advantage. First of uh, four rounds, 2-1. And... Uh, There is uh, Zhu. Must be a little nervous. Not a lot of the punches on the target in that slow motion, but there was one. Almost connecting with that uppercut with the left there. Gabuko. These boxers have earned their right to contest the gold medal at these World Championships. But uh, some stern words in the red corner for Zhu. And she just came in a little, almost lackadaisical. And now she seems to be firing on all cylinders. And for that big right hand, uh, Gabuko. Zhu having to look at the counter punch. Good right hand hook from the Chinese boxer in red. And it was Zhu's speed that was uh, most impressive. We've yet to see some of those fast combinations. That shocked so many. And, uh, Scored to the body as well as the head. Yabuko, slightly taller of the two boxers. Good shot there from uh, Zhu. Counter punch right, straight. As the uh, Chinese crowd roar, and again another very good right hand.
again, another good counter punch right hand from uh, Zhu. Excellent uh, ring craft from bo both boxes here. Every centimetre of that ring has been used in the second round. Work rate. But two uh, clear counter punch scores with the right hand from Zhu Shiki give uh, the uh, Chinese boxer the second round 3 2. And at the halfway point in this uh, opening final, Zhu of China leads 5 3. <laughs> Got the range absolutely perfect. There's uh, one of those right hands, not quite sure whether that would have been scored, could have possibly been with the inside of the glove. But uh, very light footwork and uh, the range finding for Zhu. Most impressive in that second round. China lead, 5 3. Two two minute rounds left to go. Zhu in the red, Gabuko for the Philippines in the blue. Good right hand again, right to the head. And uh, excellent start to round three here. This is the guard well to Zhu. Covers up the combination punches from the Filipino. Little Messi. Pushing, Jeffrey tells uh, Josie, Gabuko of the Philippines in blue now. Gabuko really does need to start putting a marker down here. He loses this third round. It's going to be an uphill struggle. Problem with the head guard for Gabuko. Just under a minute on the clock for this uh, third round. Two good point scoring punches so far from Zhu. We haven't seen much from Gabuko. The game. This time it's a problem with the glove for Zushiki. There's a good right hand from Gabuko. This will be her first score of this round. 30 seconds. Kind of punch there from Zoo. Read it perfectly. Ten seconds in this third round. Gabuko 4-3 which really does make it for a very tight fourth and final round the Chinese boxer leads 8-7 there's still a chance that Josie Gabuko could take this for the Philippines there's that right hand that we saw in real time again from the overhead camera
Good work from the Philippine boxer. Now, for the first time perhaps in this tournament, Lu Shiki of China is under a little bit of pressure. This fourth and final round promises to be full of fireworks here right now. By the boxers for the taking. Just not quite happy. Everybody's out of the corner. First point there. Goes to Zhu with the right hand. Just seems to have lost the momentum, Zhu, a little bit. A little bit of the confidence has been taken away by the persistence and the perseverance of Gabuko. And there's another right hand right through the guard of Zhu. All square for me at, at this point. Josie Kabuko looking the more confident of the two. Just gone a little bit quiet. Zoo. Is it the nerves? Is it the sense of occasion? She just needs to regain that composure, confidence. Footwork from the Chinese boxer there. Keep your head up. And uh, good right hook there from Zhu. She just got that one point of punch. There's the uppercut. That got through the guard quite nicely. A lovely right uppercut from Zoo. Working well on the infighting there. Now Josie Gabuko looking a little tired. 20 seconds left on the clock in the fourth and final round. Of the World Championship gold medal in the light fly division. Incredibly close match. Stinging jab from Zoo. There's the clock. Well, for me, just Zoo with a really strong right and a wonderful uppercut when they were both engaged in some very difficult close fighting on the ropes. But again, I'm happy to leave it to the judges with, uh, remember, Zoo coming into this fourth and final round with just one point advantage. Brave performance from uh, Josi Kabuko of the Philippines. Coming back in the third round to win 4-3. Is it enough? Must be two points clear in this fourth and final. <laughs> oh, she's done it. And that is quite a surprise. And what an outcome. Fantastic result for Josie Kabuko from the Philippines. Losing the first round 2-1, the second round 3-2. Coming back in the third at 4-3 and winning the fourth 3-1 to take the gold. Oh, ho! Understandably a huge amount of emotion from friends and family in the crowd and in the blue corner. Congratulations to Josie Gabuko of the Philippines taking the first of the 10 gold medal decisions here in Shen Huangtao. And a big disappointment for the Chinese fans in the crowd. Started off well, finished even stronger. Ladies and gentlemen, the world ceremony provides our winning for the lost certificate. Well, the uh, medal ceremonies uh, and the medals for this uh, light fly division will be awarded by uh, Dr. Wu, the uh, Amateur International Boxing Association president and the mascot 
will be awarded by uh, this is uh, Xin Cheng, the vice director of Xi uh, Huang Tao's People's Congress Committee. What a fantastic opening bout. The uh, light fly competition turned out to be, and a big surprise, uh, it's fair to say, with the Chinese boxer, top favourite to uh, take the gold here. And a spectacular third and fourth round from uh, Josie Gabuko of the Philippines. Turned the bout around. This is uh, Lee Quinching. And, uh, Dr. Wu, the IEVA president, as I said earlier, will make the medals and mascot awards. So the two bronze medalists on your screens, uh, Nazim Kazabai on the right, 18-year-old from Almaty taking the bronze for Kazakhstan, promising young boxer. And uh, Svetlana Jemvanova of uh, Russia taking the second uh, bronze medal. The 23-year-old uh, defeated by the boxer who went on to take the gold. That's any commiseration. Silver medal to the Chinese boxer from the uh, Beijing Sport University Club, Zhu Shiki. It's the Philippines who celebrate the World Championship gold here in China today with uh, Josie Gabuko, 25 years of age. Magnificent performance, really dug deep in the third and fourth round to turn the bout and defy the odds to take the gold medal in the Philippines.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the World Star Money for the Asian Grand.